While there's been much discussion of Germany's transfer of RGW-90 anti-armor weapons, man pads, and Gepard anti-air systems, one weapon which has been overlooked is the DM-22 Palm. The initial version of the mine, the DM-12 Palm, or Panzerabwehr Richt mine, was developed in the late 1980s and entered Bundeswehr service in the early 90s. An improved version of the mine, the DM-22 Palm II, entered production in the late 90s. The weapons are directional anti-tank mines. These are sometimes described as off-route mines, a concept we've looked at before in a previous video on the British L14A1 off-route mine. The mines are deployed with a 40 meter long fiber optic trigger cable, which is laid over the area that's to be blocked. If there's contact with the cable, such as a vehicle driving over it, the directional mine is triggered. The mines can also be remote detonated. The mine fires a fin-stabilized heat warhead, which can accurately strike targets up to 40 meters away for the DM-12 and up to 100 meters away for the DM-22. Data on what the mine's shaped charge can penetrate varies, but it's said to be capable of penetrating in excess of 100 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor. The mine is made up of a warhead and a firing unit, and these are mounted on a tripod which is manually sighted using iron sights on the top of the mine. Once aimed across the area of expected enemy movement, the trigger cable can be deployed. The fiber optic cable can be replaced by a passive infrared sensor, which extends the mine's triggering range out to 60 meters. The DM-22 Palm II is said to have a more complex sensor, an effective range of 100 meters and enhanced penetration. Both mines are still in German service, but only DM-22s have been sighted on the ground in Ukraine so far. The first examples were photographed around the 25th of April, and the example was said to have been captured by Russian forces in the Izum region. Since then, further captured examples have been photographed during May 2022. The mines appear to be manufactured in dates ranging from between October 1997 and September 1998. According to a report from Spiegel, from the 17th of May, Germany transferred 1,600 DM-22 off-route anti-tank mines and 3,000 DM-31 conventional anti-tank mines. In German service, the two mines are often used in conjunction with one another. It's currently unclear if there are further shipments of the mines planned. At this time, there's no data on if they've been used in the field, and if so, how effective they've proven. The current nature of the fighting would certainly appear to suit the intended purpose of the mines, for use denying axes of advance and ambushing enemy vehicles. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to check out our earlier video on the British off-route mine, the L14A1, for more on how the directional anti-tank mine off-route mine concept works. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to check out the rest of our Ukraine series looking at other weapons used in the conflict. You can find a full accompanying article for this video and all of our other videos over at thearmorersbench.com. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and if you'd like to, please do support the channel via Patreon. Your support is very much appreciated. Thanks again for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.